Knowing every discount, every promotion, every budgetary constraint, when you're away, when you're not away. At the moment you still place an order. Why are you placing an order? Why isn't the algorithm talking to you? If there's two of you or something that are responsible for the food shopping and one of you says, I'll go and do the shopping, the other one doesn't say, buy one packet of butter, buy one packet of milk, buy one packet of this. You kind of know what it is that you need. Well, let's have lamb chops tomorrow night and let's have grilled salmon the next night. That's like the extent of the conversation. And grilled salmon doesn't just mean the salmon. If you say grilled salmon, then you know that you normally have it with broccoli and new potatoes or you have it with wild rice. So when does the software get the UI to have that same conversation with you? That's where the UI has to get to. Knowing every discount, every promotion, every budgetary constraint, when you're away, when you're not away, where you, when you're going out, if you put in your diary, I've got dinner out tonight, I'm meeting a friend at Nando's, it should then know when I'm planning the meals for the next four days, there's no meal tomorrow night because you're out and you're having spicy chicken with rice and therefore either side of it, I won't give you chicken and I won't give you rice. I've been saying this since we started writing Mobile, which is now uh, 10 years ago. Um, my view is that the best way to absorb information, the fastest way, because we like, we're humans, we like to do everything with a minimum amount of brain effort. That's hard coded into our brains, right? And that's to conserve calories. That's why we do it. I know it sounds crazy because we have unlimited calories, but that's why we do it. The old saying, a picture says a thousand words, is true. If I just showed you a picture right now that was said Coca-Cola on it, and it was kind of that shape and that tall, and it had slightly curved edges and it was wrapped in cellophane, you immediately know it's a 12 pack of 330 mil cans of red Coke, for example. But to describe it, I had to call it a 12 pack of 330 mil cans of red Coke. That's quite a long description, whereas that picture would give you that information in a fraction of a second. And so for the computer to talk to you, pictures is best, but for you to input information into a computer, your speech is best. Because I can say, no, 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 I didn't want that one. I wanted a two litre bottle of diet. And that I said that quite quickly. And I didn't want that, I wanted a two litre bottle of diet, right? To type that or to search it from a list is quite slow. So I think that UI will move towards your speech. Who knows, if the Geniuses in the, you know, in Silicon Valley, in the Googles and the Microsofts mean that you can just think it. Maybe you won't have to say it, you'll just think it. So they will improve the devices that we have to do this on, but it's your thought or your speech. And the way for it to translate back to you is, is in my mind, is imagery. At the moment, we're too list focused. If you buy a recipe, we're not so list focused. We do say this is what you need for the recipe, but it needs to move more into that direction. And then it can say, look, for the third meal, I'm gonna suggest this because based on what you're gonna buy, you're gonna end up with half a pot of cream and this and that. And if we just add some beans, then we can make, you know, tortillas or something. It's gonna kind of work out how to manage your budget. How did the wealthiest people in this country buy their food? They didn't go to the shop, somebody went for them. Somebody discussed meals with them, guests and meals who also, somebody knew their diary, how long they were staying for, when they were going away. And if they were going to restaurants, someone knew if they were going to Scott's, that's a fish restaurant, or if they were going to somewhere else that's an Italian restaurant, and then didn't give them the same meal either side of it. That is what the technology needs to do.